Today we take a look at 10 successful and most notable musical artists who all have succumbed to an early death at the age of just 27 years old. They are the members of the phenomenon known as the 27 Club or Club 27. Number 1. Rudy Lewis was an R&B vocalist best known for his work in the 60s R&B group The Drifters. He was the lead vocalist on the hits Please Stay, Some Kind of Wonderful, Up on the Roof and On Broadway. On the 21st of May 1964, Lewis was found dead in a hotel room in Harlem, New York. An official autopsy was never performed and the authorities concluded his death was a probable drug overdose. Rudy Lewis was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1988. Number 2 Brian Jones was the founder and band leader for the British rock band The Rolling Stones. Jones, who was originally the Stones leader, was overshadowed by bandmates Mick Jagger and Keith Richards and they soon became a successful songwriting team. Throughout the 1960s, Jones had developed a drug problem and his role in the band became diminished. By mid-1969, guitarist Mick Taylor took Jones' place in the band after the group asked Jones to leave. Brian Jones died a month later and was found in his swimming pool at his home in Hartfield, East Sussex. The coroner's report stated death by misadventure and noted his heart and liver were heavily enlarged by drug and alcohol abuse. Number 3 Jimi Hendrix was a guitarist, singer, songwriter. His career was brief, about four years. However, he is regarded as one of the most influential guitarists in the history of music. Hendrix's most successful tracks were Hey Joe, Purple Haze and The Wind Cries Mary. He is famous for his Monterey Pop Festival appearance in 1967 and he headlined the Woodstock Festival in 1969. On the 18th of September 1970, Hendrix had died of an accidental death from barbiturate related asphyxia. Hendrix is ranked number six on the Rolling Stones magazine list of the hundred greatest artists of all time. Number four. Janice Lynn Joplin was an American singer-songwriter who rose to fame in the mid-60s as a lead singer of a psychedelic rock act called Big Brother and The Holding Company, and later as a solo artist. Her first big performance was at the Monterey Pop Festival in 1967 and invited to perform at the Woodstock Festival in 1969. Critics of Joplin's referred to her stage presence as electric. Joplin enjoyed five chart hits, including her 1969 number one single, me and Bobby McGee. On Sunday, October 4, 1970, Janis Joplin was found deceased in a hotel bedroom in Hollywood. The official cause of death was an overdose of heroin, possibly compounded by alcohol. In 2004, Rolling Stone magazine ranked Janis Joplin at number 46 on its list of the 100 greatest artists of all time. Number 5 Jim Morrison was an American singer, songwriter and poet and the lead singer for the band The Doors. Morrison is ranked 47 on the Rolling Stones magazine 100 Greatest Singers of All Time. Morrison was known for improvising spoken word poetry passages while the band played live. 
He is also regarded as the most iconic frontman in rock music history. Jim Morrison's best known songs include number one hit, Light My Fire, Riders on the Storm, People Are Strange, Love Her Madly and Touch Me. Jim Morrison was found dead in a Paris apartment on July 3rd, 1971. The official cause of death was listed as heart failure. Number 6. Dave Alexander was best known as being the original bassist for the influential punk band The Stooges. Alexander, who had met Iggy Pop, formed the group with him in 1967. He is credited as being the songwriter for the first two Stooges albums. Alexander was fired from the Stooges in August of 1970 after showing up at a music festival too drunk to play. Dave Alexander died of pulmonary edema in 1975 after being taken to hospital for pancreatitis which was linked to his drinking. Number 7 Peter William Hamm was a singer, songwriter and guitarist who was the lead singer for the 70s rock band Badfinger. The band's hits include No Matter What, Day After Day, Baby Blue and the international number one hit Without You. That song was covered by many artists over the decades including Mariah Carey in the 1990s. Most notably Pete Ham and his band are known for being discovered by Mal Evans, personal assistant for the Beatles. And the band were impressed by their songwriting capabilities. Between the years 1973 and 1975, Badfinger had become involved in managerial and financial problems, which stifled their music. In 1975, with no income, and unable to communicate with his manager Stan Polly, Ham became depressed. Peter William Ham was found dead in the garage of his Surrey home. He had committed suicide by hanging. Number 8 Kurt Cobain was a musician, guitarist and lead singer for the Seattle-based 1990s grunge band Nirvana. The band found breakthrough success with the song Smells Like Teen Spirit off their second album Nevermind. Cobain had struggled with a heroin addiction during the last years of life. He also suffered illness and depression. On April the 8th, 1994, Kurt Cobain was found dead at his Seattle, Washington home. His death was officially ruled as suicide by shotgun. Number 9 Kristen Fath was a musician best known for being the bassist for the alternative rock band Hole. Fath enjoyed a brief period in the band and played on the platinum selling album Live Through This. After the recording of that album Fath decided to move back to her hometown of Minneapolis. While there she entered a center for detox for a heroin addiction. Faf decided to leave Hull and stay in Minneapolis. On June 16, 1994, Kristen Faf was found dead in her apartment by a friend. The cause of Faf's death was acute opiate intoxication. Number 10. Amy Winehouse, known for her expressive vocals, was an English singer-songwriter. She had achieved major success with her album Back to Black in 2006. In 2008, she had achieved winning five Grammy Awards, which made her the first British female to win five Grammys. Her most notable song was Rehab in 2007. In 2012, 
Winehouse was ranked 26th of the 100 Greatest Women in Music by VH1. On July 23, 2011, an ambulance was called to Winehouse's Camden home in London. She was pronounced dead at the scene. The official cause of death was alcohol poisoning.